Seesaw, the learning journal, is a student-driven digital portfolio that allows students to publish and curate their work while still communicating with the teacher, parents, peers, and an outside audience. This tool is extremely flexible while still remaining simple enough for even our youngest learners to use. If this is your first time using Seesaw, I suggest you go back and view our previous tutorial called Getting Started with Seesaw. In this video, I will cover the basic features and updates in Seesaw's Creative Tools. To get started with Seesaw's Creative Tools, tap the green plus sign that says Add. Choose Post Student Work. Here you will see the six creative tools to choose from. Each tool offers a variety of options, most of which include photo, drawing, text, and audio. If you tap photo, you will see that it accesses your iPad's camera. Feel free to use any of the green cameras to capture your shot or to reverse it in selfie mode, tap the blue reverse camera symbol at the top right. Once you take your photo, you will see several tools appear. You have your different drawing utensils at the bottom for different effects and thicknesses. You also have a grabber if you want to move things so you can unlock and move. To the left if you would like to type you can click your T. A microphone to add audio and of course a camera to adjust pictures. If you tap on any text you will notice that there are some preset fonts and backgrounds. To access more colors you can and fonts, you can click the little paint swatch and just drag along your rainbow to the right. And then of course, choose some text options over here to customize it. Everything is movable and reversible, just like it has been. In the three dots, you will notice some other new features, shapes and backgrounds. Here you will find some preset shapes that you can add to your creation and of course format in different ways. So just as you can tap on them to adjust color, you can also get some other options with the three dots such as locking, bringing to front, duplicating, so forth. Backgrounds are also available. One thing to note are the additions of handwriting paper as well as graph paper. You will see these in drawings as well. Now you can see that it has added it as my background and of course my photo is in front of it. To the right, you can see the plus sign to add additional photos. You can get 60 days for free, but notice that this is a premium upgrade. Once finished, children just hit their check button and tap their name and then check again. Back under the add button, I also have the ability to do drawing, video, upload notes and links. Let's explore drawing. Drawing looks very similar to the photo options. You will see the same tools, same icons. This is great for consistency reasons for students. One thing to note is this is when those backgrounds often come in handy. Now, as a student, I can practice my handwriting online paper. If you would like to add a voice caption, students tap down here in the bottom right or bottom left, and they will get the option to record. This microphone will let them record over their entire drawing, and it will then save it as a video. Just as in the prior one, you click the done or check mark once finished. In the top right, choose your name and continue. Video will allow you to do video. Notes will allow you to text and add voice. Link will allow you to add in a hyperlink to a web page or document. Under the upload, notice that on an iPad, you can upload directly from your camera roll. So if, it, so if you have photos or videos from other apps, or you can link directly to Google Drive. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to our video. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you do not miss out on the next episode.